Welcome back everyone. I hope everyone are doing fine in this pandemic. Stay home, stay safe. And that being said, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create some amazing explainer videos or let's say product launch videos on this tool called Camtasia Studio. Along with that, I'll also be showing you the process I follow in creating such videos. So we'll go through both of them. And as usual, let's have a demo of what we're going to see today and then we can get started on how to do it. So I'll just open up the demo here. Finding a particular outfit that you saw at a party or an advertisement is difficult and at times it almost feels impossible to find it. But what if there is an app that could not only help you find it but also get it delivered right at the doorstep? So yeah guys, uh, that's a huge video. You can go ahead and check out the whole video. I'll place the link for this uh, on the description below. So let's go on to the tool and see how we're gonna do this. Yeah. So here we are on Camtasia Studio and uh, before getting into it, so as you can see I have many assets here. So we'll see how I go ahead and create these assets. So here I'm on Sketch and I use Sketch for creating these assets. You can use any tool of your comfort. So initially what I do is I try to create a storyline of the video I'm going to create. So you need to have the script of a basic script structure of what you're going to create in the video. So this is a video presentation about a product uh, that I worked for my master's project. It's basically called Wish and Wear uh, about uh, how you enhance the online shopping. And you can see this is the whole story or the script of the video. So it initially starts off with a person finding a party and he liked an outfit. And then he goes ahead searching for that outfit and you finally get it delivered home and the person is happy. And then I try to introduce the product here and what it does and you get it right. You pretty much get it. That is how the script of the video is going. So based on the script of the video, I create a storyline in each frame. So each of these artboard is like a scene in the video. So in the first scene, I have this party and then in each of the scene, I have a particular thing that runs or animates. So when I'm talking about animation here, in this script or in this frame, I want this particular uh, search engines to pop in. So that is why I have this as a separate element here. And let's see something else. So I want the user to search for the outfit here and that is why I have the magnifying or the search icon and this one as a separate element. So I'll be telling you why we need these as separate elements basically. And in this case, I want the delivery to come up from somewhere or from the top or from the right and so on i have the different elements in this case if i can say yeah this box i have separated out because i want a pile of boxes to come in here and that was the animation uh, plan behind it and in this case i want these people to basically uh, smile and that is why i have their mouths as a separate piece so that is how you need to make sure uh, your elements are and then once you have done creating the whole storyline just go ahead and export all these assets. So once you have exported them, they should be looking something like this. So I try to name them accordingly so that uh, we can use it in the project. So this is scene four and in scene four, I have S4A, S4B. You can name it as per your comfort, but you can name it in a proper numbering or a structure so that it's useful for you. So I basically fo follow the S and followed by this frame. So this is scene 5 and scene 5 has two elements and scene 6 has two elements and basically you get the idea, right? So that is how I try to organize the whole structure of the assets. And once you have done doing that, what you need to do is go back to the Camtasia Studio and import in all your assets. So all my assets are in the media bin. And then once you have done that, you basically need to have a first frame that is the main background. So this is the background which I've used and all the elements come over this. So this is the main background and that has to continue for the whole video. And that is why you see this as a whole big uh, bar here. And once you have done with that, you need to have a script narrated. So this is basically my script. If I can play it here, let me just play it here. Finding a particular outfit that you saw at a party or an advertisement is difficult.
So you need to have the script running like that and based on the script we are going to animate each of these elements. So if you have heard in the script first I'm saying that if, you, if there's a party or an advertisement. So that is when I come up with the first scene. In the first scene I'm trying to show a party. So I just zoom it up. So initially if you can see you just need to bring in the element. So let me just show that. So here's the party element that is scene 1 and I bring it to the frame here and initially I just set the scale of this to 0 so you won't be able to see anything there and I just animate it using animations and go to custom so I drop a custom animation there and then I try to scale it back to 100 you can just use this reset button that will bring it to the actual size or you can give a value or use a slider even it's up to you and I move the animation so if it is in the beginning if you can see here it will start animating as soon as the frame starts but I want a little bit of delay and that is why I would click on this and move it to whichever location I want so if I move it till here you won't be able to see the animation until that point starts and if you want to increase the duration of the animation just click this and drag it so that basically increases the duration so now if you can see it happens very slow okay that is happening because of the layer here so if I hide that you can see how it happens really slow and smooth and if you want to change the easing or the way it happens you can just right click on this and you have animation easing options you can basically even bounce it so if I click on bounce you can see it just bounces on the screen so I usually prefer uh, you know exponential in and out or auto those work pretty smooth so you get the idea right that is how you basically animate each of these elements here and then I once that is done you basically move on to the next scene here where you show the banner and let's move on okay I have to turn this on so yeah moving on to the next scene uh, as I've told you in the sketch file uh, here I want the search engines to just pop in so that is why I have this outside the frame if you can see here it's basically outside the frame and then I'm using an animation object here to bring it onto the frame so this is the end state and this is the beginning state or you can call it keyframes so that is how it happens uh, let's go ahead we are in the third uh, scene here so in this scene you can see that uh, the user is I'm trying to say that the user is searching for the outfit and that is when I bring in the icon here and then I make the outfit visible here so if you can see that happens in a fade animation so that is because I used a fade transition here and you can find these transitions here in this option and just drag in so if I delete this here you can just drag in the fade option onto this and that just fades in and you can reduce or increase the time of fading so I would put it something like this and it just fades in so that is how you do such animations and going ahead if you can see this part I'm trying to bring in as many boxes so let me just play that we are not just any other fashion store trying to produce outfits in bulk so you can see uh, I try to bring in some containers one by one so you need to place all the containers first to make it easy and just align it as per the need and then once you're done it will basically look like this so once you have multiple containers it will look like this but I want, to, want it to come one by one and that is why uh, once you have done aligning all the containers you basically give it a little delay to pop in so now if you see it comes one after the other so that is how I made this animation and then moving ahead so here you can see that people are kind of happy and for that I have showed you in the sketch that this particular mouth of people here I have exported it as a separate asset and once you can see that I have just scaled it so that it looks like the person is happy and smiling and then I have some annotations here which you can basically find it in the annotation option so those are the different elements in this and let's see one more so here you can see I'm basically trying to show that the person walks in so that is why I have a move animation here 
and then a person looks at this outfit and he wants to click a photo of it and that is when I change the posture of this person those are basically two assets and then you're clicking a photo and that I try to illustrate it using this particular uh, flash or light you can see so this is again a separate element and then I went ahead and tried to bring in the object from left to right this is a transition which you can again find it in the transitions and if you go ahead slide from left or yeah this should be slide from right so it's basically bring show, uh, revealing the object from right to left or left to right you can use any of them so once I drop that you can see how it kind of uh, brings the light in showing that the person is taking a photo and here you're trying to basically scroll showing a scroll animation on the mobile and that is basically uh, you have the frame here you can see so that is cut out in the between and then you have the screen basically which is scrolling so that is a move animation again which basically shows that the user is scrolling so yeah overall that is how you end up creating such explainer videos which really attracts the viewer and you can try to explain things really well and that is how I use this tool and the whole process of creating such uh, tutorial or animation videos. So I hope this video was helpful for you. Uh, the process I use might work out for you. It might not work, but that is how I do it. So yeah, that's it for this video, guys. And as always, if you like the video, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to click the bell icon. Thanks for watching.